go back out again, but I think for the session, yeah, I had a 209, 9 optimal, so let's, let me try a second run. I found that you can really engine brake with this car. Yeah. And um, once you've got it hooked up on the apex tracking out, you can really put your foot down. Mm. I'm not going to try the race KB, I haven't done it anywhere near enough practice to actually start a race. That would be just dangerous, I think. But we can do the qualifying session just to see how we qualify. So, yeah, sorry for being silent, but as you can see, we've got probably the most blue flag racing drivers on track at the same time in the same session as we've had in quite a while. And with Ryan joining the team, oops, oops, the team radio channel as well. Slow down. Um, yeah, probably. probably indicative of the fact that it's now coming up to the Christmas period or in the Christmas week so people have time off work and um, what you're watching is us try some initial exploratory laps in the Cadillac ahead of this weekend's the spirit of VLN which um, seeks to emulate those endurance races of mixed class cars um, most synonymous event is the Nürburgring or Nordschleife um, so go look on YouTube for some of those um, this weekend it will probably be myself and Christoph KB trying to get this car onto the grid and then around um, so you followed me Mark well just as that happened I've got to apologise to my goddaughter she just walked in handing me some clean clothes and I just shoot her away I didn't even say a word I just waved at her so after I finish the stream I have to go find her give her a love and go I'm really sorry sweetheart <laughs> um, yeah so a, a bit more insight into what's going on in my house than you need to know um, but yeah so we're trying now to left side clear I was not expecting you to do that <laughs> Sorry, I was like trying to drink lemonade and drive, it just wasn't really judging it all well. <laughs> yeah, it didn't turn out well at all. Um, my own fault, should be paying more attention. So yeah, we're um, just trying to acclimatise ourselves to the car. There aren't many of us that drive the Cadillac. Rhinus drove it in the first VLN race at Spa, did a really good job. At times, at times he was running um, top three think in class so he, he's probably the one that's the most at home in the car um, KB's thinking that he might run the caddy in the global challenge series um, but for myself Robert Bailey really we run the V8 supercar so this is this is alien to us but once I've got over the fact that the car's steering ratio is much different to that of the Holden, um, and again, 
the, the way you can use the brakes and the throttle is much different to the Holden. It's actually quite fun. When they first said that the Cadillac was coming to iRacing, I wasn't very charitable. I had visions of a 1950s, <coughs> 1960s Caddy. Um, whereas what they actually put in, obviously it wasn't going to be a 1950s or 60s Caddy. But this car, I can see how it'd be great fun to run in the series. So if you've tuned in earlier in the week and you've seen me on track or any of my teammates, you'll know that this isn't usual, seeing us in a caddy. But through 2015, what you should expect to see is more V8 action, possibly GT3 action if we can get ourselves up to speed and ultimately on the grid for Masters of Endurance, because that's the spiritual home of Blue Flag Racing, Endurance Racing. Um, team events where it's not about the individual it's about getting the team car home like VLN but then also you'll see some team members like Ralph Cullinan and T Terry O'Keefe who will probably be running GT3 um, we're hoping that 2015 will be a much more active year for the team so if you race and I racing hopefully we'll see you on track um, if you're just watching um, thanks for following. We want to do more like this as well, more where the chat you hear isn't just me talking you through my experience <laughs> in sim racing. Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> but that chat. Oh, wow, dude. More sessions Sorry. like this. Oh, wow, I've got to slow down, just realised. Where you can also hear our in team radio chat. Um, we're not one of the teams that are going to be challenging the front of the grid, so we don't mind whilst the races are taking place, live streaming and includes in our team speak chat so you can get a bit of an all access behind the scenes. Do I need to ask what happened right, with sorry, you two? Yeah. Was it like Phillip Island again? <laughs> um, almost. I kind of I kind of um, locked the brakes up a little and cut the corner just slightly. And may have hit him. May have hit him. The fact that Bailey's silent means you hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch back, there's a, a video when we initially oh, started wow. to try and get the streaming work. It was in week, um, what was week seven, which is normally week 13. Um, so the build week for iRacing. And um, we were doing one of the, well, Robert and Bailey were in one of the fun, 24 hours of fun races, the V8 one at Phillip Island, and Robert was a lap down. Amazing um, how our cars are literally, literally almost identical. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Bailey was running second, and <laughs> Rob pretty much wiped him out. <laughs> he still managed, managed to finish third, which was a bit of a result, but yeah and it was right after one lap after being told by Bailey don't take me out <laughs> obviously it wasn't on purpose but I don't think they should get together on track at the same time I don't think you guys should get together on track at the same time I think it's a good idea you share the same car <laughs> If you look at our team page as well on Facebook, so facebook.com forward slash blue flag racing, you'll see a lot of um, updates, or hopefully we'll get a lot from Robert and Bailey because they both do karting in real life. Um, I don't know Robert's team. Um, Bell's, Bailey's is Bell Motorsports. I need to ask Robert what his karting team is. Hey Rob, what's your karting team? Sorry? What's the name of your karting team? I can't remember. I know Bailey's is Bell Motorsports, but what's yours? Um, Stanley Motorsport. I race for them. Do they have a web page? I, I'm pretty sure they do. I, I, last time I looked, it was down. Okay, don't um, say that anymore. 
<laughs> I'm there giving you free advertising, <laughs> and you're like, I think we've got a web page, um, but it was probably down. So if you can sponsor Robert and his team enough funds to get a web administrator back up, then yeah, they'll they, be yeah. very grateful. <laughs> yes, we will. And I know that B Bell Motorsports are looking for a sponsor, um, but so is Blue Flag Racing, but Bell Motorsports in real life are also looking for a sponsor. Yeah, it's sort of, um, in my case, it's Stanley is sponsoring me, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. So basically, you're a paid driver, unlike some of the drivers on the F1 grid. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know about paid just yet, but um, I wish I was. I wish I was getting paid, but nah, not yet. My dreams to get paid for sim racing. Can you imagine? <sighs> Okay, let's see if I can complete this lap. <sighs> Got my braking completely wrong. <gasps> okay, let's concentrate for a lap and see if we can put a proper timing. Yeah, I just thought exactly the same thing. My arm tool's now 2091, but I just messed up the, the end of the front, well, the back straight. Oh, okay. I can totally see, though, why they say you don't need to do much to the baseline. Mmm. Yeah, I totally agree. It's quite a good baseline, literally. Yeah, I'm surprised. For those oh, wow. who the don't, the Cadillac's race actually quicker than the BMW. In i racing, normally when you get a baseline set for the car, it's horrific. However, um. Iris have excelled themselves this season because the baseline for the V8 Holden is pretty damn good as well and this one seems really drivable. Shouldn't have tried that, tried something new. I should have just stuck to what I've been doing all session. 